Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So I'm sure you guys have been playing the game. Um, personally, I haven't been able to as much as I'd like and that's like just pretty much up to one specific brawler. Uh, Surge, obviously there's a few toxic brawlers. You can see two in the, <laughs> the screen right now. But um, Surge, he's just on another level and you know, the devs released him right when they went on vacation and he's just kind of been a menace. I, personally, I think it's the worst brawler ever released uh, just like in terms of balance. Um, but there are a few ways that we can deal with Surge. So today we're gonna be go, going over those and yeah, a lot of them are other toxic brawlers. There's one or two other ways and a few brawlers that can deal with them pretty much fine that aren't like super meta. So there's some off meta picks too, but um, we're just gonna be covering those brawlers today. Um, and we got Ashlyn S and McLovin helping us out get the gameplay. Shout out McLovin, obviously huge shout out Ashlyn S, um, the cutest sprout. But let's get into the games. <gasps> okay guys we finally got a surge we've literally been looking for a surge for 20 minutes this is the longest like whenever i don't want a surge i can't get one but whenever like i don't want to play against it i get one um just how it goes i guess but we are gonna be mr p on surge lane so the reason why i'm using this star power is obviously it's really good on this map and yeah unfortunately we are gonna take two shots from the surge there but he's not gonna get his gadget or sorry his uh super activated which is gonna be really good for us and Never mind, he did get his super, but that's okay. Um, we're just gonna like sit back and poke. Oh no. Okay. So he is gonna. I should have been like more careful about that. That's something you always have to keep in mind. Um, but now we do have our penguins and we have a revolving door, so that's gonna be really, really good against them. Um, the only thing is they have Rico, which is really good at taking it out. So we gotta be a little careful of the Rico. I think we can take him out right here though. But now we got our penguins back, and he is level four surge so we're gonna have to be careful um now revolving door it's not gonna be the best in this instance right now but pretty much the penguins are gonna alleviate a lot of pressure for us and we can just go up the map um and right now we gotta watch out for their surge okay so he's gonna jump for whatever reason and he's gonna be one shot our penguins are gonna keep pressure on him and i think we might be able to score because he did overextend yeah we're gonna score um but pretty much he's gonna reset now and it's gonna be really tough for him. I think he's used two gadgets. You always gotta keep track of the surge gadgets. That's really important as well too. But with this, like with Mr. P, you just want your penguins to do the work, honestly. Um, they literally carry Mr. P. It's just such a nuisance. And we're just gonna get our penguins out and our penguins fell in faster than his reload speed. So it's gonna be really hard for him to get like value when he's just shooting penguins the entire time. Right now, the Rico's like definitely helping him out a little bit, but we're gonna pop our gadget just to like kind of keep it alive longer. And you can see he's just kind of stuck there. Um, he's going to be like, he's going to have to rely on his teammates to take it out. Unfortunately, the Barley Super just connected. But we did get pretty good value. And, you know, we held him down really solid there. He didn't get any hits on us. Um, his teammates, he, his teammates are really good brawlers to take out Mr. P Porters, though. So that's a little unlucky. But we can just take out the Barley here. And I think we'll be able to score maybe. Okay. Trick shot. <sighs> okay trick shot but like we're gonna win anyways um and you can just see like when we got it set up mr p's penguins are such a nuisance from <sighs> okay we got another surge and i really like the surge skin so um it seems like the higher trophies we go the better it is so we're just gonna be on mr okay no he switched sides uh he doesn't want to go in the sprout it's understandable um but we're just gonna follow him around and we're a lot faster than him so he's probably looking to teleport over on us um, honestly, we gotta be careful of the Max here because Max is pretty good in the Sprout. But we're just gonna pop our gadget and he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna teleport over. But we can take him out. <sighs> My auto aim failed me. We can take him out. Oh, he jumped. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> he's still really low and we'll get him. So he did waste his, uh, his super upgrade. But you can just see, like, he doesn't have a reliable way of dealing with throwers, especially Sprout, because Sprout's pretty tanky, so he can't just teleport in on them. And Tick, Tick is also really good into him just because of the extra range. So he's not really close to his super, and, um, you know, he is down one gadget. So he is gonna just, he's getting kind of desperate now, I think. Um, we'll take him out again. And, yeah, he hit us once with, like, one of the spread shots, but we're doing pretty good. And you can just see why Sprout is such a popular pick against Search. 
So your wall, it doesn't get too, too much value because assuming he doesn't waste all his gadgets, he can gadget out of it. But it's just, obviously when you play these matches, you're not just focused on like one lane usually. Um, so we are going to take him out again. And you can just see there's nothing he can do there. By the time he wants to go in, we can just chip him down already. So it's like pretty ineffective. And it's like just a waste of the gadget pretty much. Um, and you can just see like how good you always want to use photosynthesis on sprout unless there's literally no grass just because you get so much value so he wants to go in again um, but we got him way too low and we're just like completely taking the surge out of the game at this point um, we're not even we're just kind of bullying him which I mean it's playing surge like he's asking for it so we can just like move it up the, the right side um, and he's gonna yeah i was gonna say he's gonna gadget in and just auto aim but we can literally just regen off that and he's gonna waste his upgrade again so honestly if i was him i would have just took the death i got my upgrade he's out of his gadgets now and he's level one with literally like no points toward his super so we don't even need to score at this point you can just see he's he's trying to get away from me i'm not gonna let that happen i'll follow him anywhere on this map um and we will take out pretty much everyone on their team and sad face drop let me see if i have any sprout pins i think i yeah i have sad sprout okay and we'll drop that and we'll take the dub okay guys so we're gonna be on tick we actually got underdog so there's a good chance we we're playing with like a 1k so these guys are probably like 1100 or something like that so i'm just really gonna try following the surge around i'm gonna make sure we don't feed them um i think they might honestly just score the right side here though so hopefully i can keep their Nice, Ash is going to take them out, and she's playing Screeching Solo, um, which, I mean, the healing wouldn't be that good with this comp, so it's totally fine. It's actually not a bad star power, especially on ladder competitive. I wouldn't use it too much because Poco is not very strong, so yeah, he's... <sighs> I gadget into the wall. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating. So, Tick's gadget's pretty good into Surge, um, obviously not when you do it into the wall, but just because it is like a gap closer, or... You can use it as an escape from gap closers and obviously his is just to get close to you so it's good for spacing um we're gonna be careful and make sure he doesn't do it again take head please okay that was actually kind of close i reacted to that pretty late but we're gonna save it um and he is gonna be level four here so i should just go on him now he did get kind of fed early but you can see we're just like keeping him at range um, so I don't want him to regen. We do have to watch out for the prank. He's probably gonna look to gadget in on me um, But we are gonna take out the surge there That's gonna be really big and then our teammates are gonna do a great job on the other end of thing and take out their two teammates So now we can push up and I'm pretty sure he used two gadgets already at least So it's gonna be really difficult for him So I'm just gonna drop my head and you know He can take it out But I was hoping we go to the other side because it actually is pretty good into prank and it is difficult sometimes for Franks to time it properly. So I think if it went to the other side, it could have got like some pretty good value. But right now we're just going to be chipping him and he's going to look to go over. I missed my gadget. Oh my gosh, my face got itchy. And like I went to itch my face and uh, it's a rough game. <laughs> but I think that was his last gadget. Um, so he's just chilling over here. He is getting pretty close to level four. So we're just going to keep him in this corner and uh, let our teammates deal with his teammates. And, you know, we can get our tick head over. Please go to the right side. No, bad tick head. Bad tick head. But our teammate. Oh, it actually hit the surge. Okay, wow. So usually any surge will not let that happen just because he two shots it. Um, but we can keep him pretty low here. We're going to force him into Ash. He's going to do a good job taking him out. And over time, I think we should have the advantage with our comp obviously tick's not the best but barley's not the best either gotta watch the super shot nice good roll from tezzle or a good spin from tezzle um and we're getting pretty close to our super shot here so i'm just gonna cor not corner it but just throw it to the side so i can keep spamming some shots um we're gonna focus on the surge nice good shot from tezzle and we'll take the game okay guys so this is my favorite off meta pick for surge counters it is 8-bit um now I'm assuming he's going right side, so we are going to be a little slow going to lane. But pretty much you want to keep him at max range, and you can kind of like spam out with 8-bit a little bit. And you just got to like watch their movements. So he is pretty slow level 1, and you can just see we're getting really good value. And we're going to get one of his teleports out too. He's going to hit us twice, but we can just trade with him. And 
you know, the thing about 8-bit is even if you're winning your lane, you can really help out your teammates just by getting your turret out for them. And we can see the Surge just trying to sneak down a little bit. So we're going to back off and just regen. So even if he does go right in our face, so their Tara, he can see me now because of the Tara, obviously. And he's going to be going down our lane. So what we're going to do here is just try to keep him poked. And I think I got him right there. So you can see it's really difficult for him to get any value against an 8-bit lane. Um, stuff that also works like with the same concept would be Nani, Brock, Piper, uh, but personally my favorite one's 8-bit just because he can teleport in on those brawlers and if you do miss some shots, which it's kind of easy to miss shots with a lot of the long range single shot brawlers, um, you can pretty much lose your lane all game, but we are gonna get within teleport range, we'll grab those two gems and we can just hang out and just... We want to keep spamming our lane so i don't know where the surge is at this point i think okay there he is so he didn't get a single level up this entire game he is going to use his final teleport he'll grab a level up but uh it's a little too late and you guys can just see why 8-bit is so good on open maps against surge all right guys that is going to be it for today's video so hopefully these brawlers help you counter surge and the meta just in general even though a lot of them are the meta so they're all pretty situational obviously 8-bit on like open maps with throwers on maps with walls mr p uh pretty much anywhere but the star power does differentiate so you know i'm sure you guys are getting kind of familiar with dealing with surge and yeah i mean a lot of the games are just surge difference and um you know it's comp really comp dependent i find when there's like a really strong brawler it just makes it like a lot more rng um but you know there are some ways to deal with it and it's definitely an issue and i'm sure supercell will fix it when they're back from their vacation but for now we gotta deal with it ourselves so definitely try out these brawlers and let me know how you guys think anyways i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all tomorrow peace